Okay, okay, guys. It's been a long time, but I'm here. I'm back. Uh, I think there's something very important I need to quickly teach you guys, and that's how to use Hive Engine. So the first thing you want to do is open your Splinter Lands. Then what you can do is you open your Hive Engine. So this is the SL Guides Hive Engine. You can go into your wallet, and in your wallet you'll see that I have zero vouchers, zero SPSS, and very little swap hive, but anyway, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> so what you have to do in order to move everything around is in Splinterlands, let's say you go to your... So the first thing you want to do is you want to look at shop. So let's say you've got your vouchers. What you can do if you wanted to sell your vouchers or if you want to send it to Hive Engine, all you do is you click send, Hive Engine... So you're sending them out, you could say one, and then you can click transfer out. We went from eight to seven. And then when I refresh this page, I should have one vulture. So they, I've got one voucher, they're selling at $19 a piece, that's crazy. I kind of like that, $19 for a voucher. Anyway, I've got to decide whether or not I actually want to sell my vouchers. Um, anyway, I think for this experiment I'll show you how it's done. $19. Hmm. So I show you guys how to sell a voucher. Okay, so then what you do is you can go to your market, and then there's different markets, but the main ones that you want to be interested in is voucher, chaos, SPSS, DEC. So this is what you will use to run everything. But let's say you go to your vouchers, right? And people are buying vouchers at 24, people are selling them at 24.41. So you can either fulfill the buy orders or beat the sales orders so if we were to beat the sales orders we go 24 and then instead of four we can go three and we'll do one voucher for 24 hive and then you would click sell you will then get swap hive i know it's a little bit complicated if you've never used the blockchain before and it took me a lot of time to use i made a few mistakes but basically what would happen is in open orders now just like anything You'll see that I'm selling it there for 24.3 Hive. So there I am right there, 24.3. Somebody's buying at 24. So when somebody's willing to, they could buy my voucher at 19 something dollars. And what would then happen is the voucher would disappear and then I would be paid in Swap Hive. The other thing you should do is if you do buy Hive, or you do trade for Hive, and you basically, you can swap, you can send your DEC here as well. It doesn't have to be vouchers. It's the same thing. You can go into your Splinterlands, you can click on your, oops, I can't because I'm, my recording thing's on top of it, but let's say you do your SPSS. You can go to your SPSS, you can click transfer, and then you can click Hive Engine, and you can transfer however much SPSS you want to transfer out you can transfer it quite easily. So you just type it in, transfer out, and then it will pop into your Hive Engine. And then from your Hive Engine, you can very easily uh, sell your SPSS for Swap Hive, or you can send your DEC to Hive Engine, and then sell your DEC for Swap Hive. And then you can use that Hive to buy vouchers or to buy DEC. So this is just the local market for everything that you want. So DEC is taking a bit of a hit. SPSS is taking a bit of a hit. Vouchers are still quite worth, uh, worth quite a lot. Uh, you can buy plots for nearly 900 US dollars or 850. But yeah, I think one of the main things that I wanted to tell you guys was, let me just try and see what's happened with my orders has my order been fulfilled no it has not no one's 
no one's beating me yet, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, basically, the thing I want to let you guys know is, unless you're a big person, oh, sorry, that's that's a rude way to say it. Size is not means nothing. Uh, unless you're gonna go for fifty vouchers, you would be better off just either buying chaos packs or waiting to buy chaos packs. So if a voucher costs nineteen dollars plus the four dollars, that's twenty three dollars you're spending just to have a chance at getting a promo card. But you could literally just buy a chaos pack for twelve dollars eighteen cents. So you're paying ten dollars, nearly double the price, just to have a chance. Just to have a chance of getting a chaos pack, or just have a chance of getting a promo card. But with all those, unless you're spending buying 50 vouchers and you're guaranteed to get the promo card, you can literally do 50 by ten dollars. Or if you sold all your vouchers, you do 50 times 19 which is literally like a thousand US dollars and then you just buy chaos post sale you could have easily you could save yourself a thousand dollars you can sell you can earn yourself a thousand dollars and I'm pretty sure you can buy the promo card for less than a thousand dollars so it will be profit but it's the same thing if you really want your chaos packs now and you're freaking out that you're not gonna be able to get any in the post sale why would you spend $23 for a pack when you can literally just buy a pack for $12, $13 already? And all you're giving up is the pre-sale rewards. But yeah, it's completely up to you guys. That's just my opinion. So let's see if this sells, if it doesn't. But that's basically how you use it. Um... Let's refresh, see if it's anything's changed. No, okay. So, I guess the only other thing I have to do is just teach you how to send it back. Ah, oh, it's so slow. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna... It's taking too long to load, and I'm getting impatient. Okay, so what you want to do is, if you need to send things back, what you can do is, if it's a voucher, you can go right here and click send, and then you would go Hive Engine, transfer in. So let's say you bought 50, you'd then type 50. You'd hit transfer in, and then 50 vouchers would come from your Hive Engine to this account. If you bought packs, you can just go over to here, and you find... Oh, oh they removed it! That's really fucked up. Because <laughs> normally, you would just go to where you can find the Chaos Legion pack icon, and then you can click Convert, and then you can click Hive Engine, and, and send it in. But for some reason, they've moved it. Maybe they moved it here? Where did you put it? That's interesting. I wonder where they put it. Maybe... Nope. Huh. It's really fucked up. And not cool. Sorry, I don't know where they... Wow, I'm so sorry, guys. There literally used to be a Chaos Legion pack icon that I would always just click Convert, and then I would click Hive Engine, and then deposit however many I wanted to. But they seem to have removed it. Uh, I'll message them and ask them to bring it back. Uh, let's go back to the Hive Engine and see if the order has been fulfilled. So back to vouchers. Okay, our order has not been fulfilled. So what we'll do is we can go here, cancel, and as usual, it's very fucking slow because it's, yeah, either my computer is a piece of shit or it's just a bit slow and a bit laggy, but. 
Load, load, load. Huh. Don't have any swap bikes. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Order's been fulfilled. So, somebody bought our order. So, we got swap hive now. We have 24.3. And I guess it's time to buy something. Um, do I want to buy a pack? Maybe. But what we can buy is... So, yeah, let's buy some SPSS. That's always fun. So... We have 24.43 Hive, so what we can do is we can just put in a buy order. Um, so it's not always good to do this, but... We're in a rush, so we can just, we'll just fulfill a, sal a sales order. But if you wanted to make a little bit more profit, what you do is you just chill. Okay, cool. It's been broadcasted. So how much was that? 31 SPSS. So then what you can do is you go into your SPSS, you go to transfer, you go to Hive Engine, and you hit 31 SPSS, transfer in, confirm. And you can see my current in-game balance is zero, swap hive is zero, SPSS is zero, and there you go. And I got 31 hive from the hive engine now. So now I've got my 31, and yeah, that's how you use hive engine. So if you've got any other questions, put a link in the like, comment down below. So please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you want me to do next. And if you're a new player, please use the promo code and I'll happily send you the 0.5 US dollars back to you. It just lets me know that people are watching and using the promo and I'm helping new players join the community. Also, if you find me on the Discord, just pop me a message. I'll happily delegate any of the new players some power.